If you have 16 GB of the RAM installed on your PC, so today in this video I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS in any game with your 16 GB of the RAM. So guys make sure to watch this whole video if this is your first time here, please subscribe and drop a like on this video. So guys before starting this video please let me know your PC specs, therefore I can help you to optimize your PC for free. So guys in the very first step, the most important step is to guys stop all the back and running application and all the startup or useless app. So for that right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Now go straight to where your startup apps and here you will find that all the apps available on your PC. You need to go for the startup impact and simply sort it from the high to none and now you need to guys disable all the apps from here that you are not using on your PC on the daily basis. So I have already disabled the nopping, then program, then terminal, Intel graphics command, Skype and all the other application. You need to simply go for any specific application, right click and disable that application from here. I have already disabled it from here so guys that's it. Now you need to go for the services tab and here you will find that all the services available on your windows. You have to just disable these two services. So for first you need to press W from your keyboard and find out this valid service. So right click and stop the service on your PC. I have already stopped it. Now you need to press S from your keyboard, scroll a little bit down and here you will find our sysmin service. This use a lot of your memory and your CPU so guys right click and stop this service from your windows. After that now close out of it. Now for the next step you need these two files on your PC. First one is the memory reduct for the optimization of your memory. Then here we got our RAM optimization reg file. So open up this txt file inside you will find it all the documentation. So guys simply go for your window search, search for registry and make sure to run this as administrator. So guys simply copy the first path from here that will disable paging executing. So guys simply copy the first path from here. Now you need to go for your registry editor and paste here that copy path. Now, now simply paste it here and press enter. Now you need to find out here disable paging executive option. Now simply right click here, go for this modify button and now you need to simply change this value data onto the one. Now set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit OK. Now for the next step again open up the txt file. Now you have to copy the second path from here. Now go for the search bar, simply paste it here and press enter. Now in the same directory you will also find out here this large system cache. So right click here, go for modify option and also change this value data onto the one, set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit ok. So guys next in the same directory you will also find out here this clear page file at shutdown. This will guys clean all your memory while you shut down your PC. So guys for that you need to simply right click here, go for modify and now also change this value data onto the one, set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit ok and now simply close out of your registry editor. Now for the next step you need to open up the memory duct on your PC. The folder simply right click on memory duct and guys run this as administrator. Now you have to install this application, click next. I agree the terms, click next, next and simply install this tool on your PC. After installation here you will find out this kind of interface of the memory duct and guys it is very simple. Now before testing it you have to open up your task manager. Now go for your performance tab and here you will find that your memory. Now simply put it here on the side. And now once you click onto this clean memory option then you will find out here the changes. So guys click onto this clean button and click onto the yes and here you can check out here over 2 GB RAM has been cleaned by using this memory detect application and you can also analyze the results inside this task manager. So simply close out of it and guys I recommend you after every one hour you have to clean your memory while you're playing Fortnite or any other game and this will help you to get the more performance out of your RAM. So now simply click on this minimize button and this application will keep running in your system tray whenever you turn on your PC. Now simply you can drag this and guys put it here on your desktop. So guys now the next step we are going to optimize our Windows power plan settings that is the most important part of our Windows optimization. So for that you need to go for your Windows search, search for power and open up choose a power plan. Now you will go to here this kind of the window you need to go for this create a new power plan select it onto the high performance and now go for the power plan and simply name it ripex now click on this next button now set the settings onto the never and click on the create button once you got here this power profile you need to go for this change plan settings go for change advanced power settings 
and here you will find out this pop-up. Now go for this required a password on wake up, go for the settings and set the settings onto the no. Now go for hard disk, go for turn off hard disk and set the settings onto the zero. Now scroll a little bit down and find out here processor power management. Go for this expand button, now go for minimum processor state, click on the expand, set the settings onto the 100%. Now go for the next option and also do the same settings for the maximum processor state. Now after doing it, now click on the supply button, hit OK and close out of your Windows power plan. Now in the next step, we are going to adjust our virtual memory paging file. So for that, right click on your Windows start icon and open up system settings. Now you have to go for your advanced system settings. Open up performance settings and go for the advanced tab. Now you need to go for your virtual memory. Go for a change button and now you have to uncheck this box that is automatically manage paging file size for all drive. So uncheck this box from here. Now you have to select your C drive where you install your windows. Now go for custom size and now in the next step you have to open up the calculator. So open up the calculator on your windows and now you need to do some math. So guys first of all you need to simply type here 16 GB of your RAM. Now convert the 16 GB into MBs. So for that multiply 16 with 1024 and hit equal and here you will go to your value of 16 GB RAM in MB. Now you have to multiply this number with 1.5 and hit equal. Now you will go to this value that is the 2, 4, 5, 7, 6. Now here we got over the virtual memory for the initial size and now for the maximum size you have to click on the C button, clean it. Now again multiply 16 with 1024, hit equal. Now multiply this number with 3 and hit equal. Now go for maximum size. Now type here 49152. After that click on the set button and apply the settings on your C drive. Now hit OK, hit apply, click OK. Click OK again and close all these windows from your PC. Now for the next step, we are going to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So simply guys right click on your desktop and open up display settings. Now scroll all the way down, go for related settings and open up graphic settings. Go for default settings, under there you will find out change default graphic settings. Now from here you have to turn on the settings. That is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This will reduce latency and improve your PC performance. Next, you will find a variable refresh rate. So turn it off. Now go for optimization for Windows game. So guys also turn it off if you play your games onto the full screen mode. After that, now you have to go for the gaming tab of your Windows settings. Go for game bar and turn off the game bar from here. So go back. Now go for the game mode. And guys also turn off the game mode on your windows now for the next step you have to go for your windows update option click for the check for update and guys make sure to download all the latest update on your pc so guys here we got all this new update of our windows so guys you have to download all the updates on your pc and install it and guys simply after that close out of this window now you have to one time reset your pc there for all the changes to take effect after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of it so guys now let's jump into our Fortnite and enjoy some gameplay after doing this optimization. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.